Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're diving into a question that's been on many minds lately. Is Tom Clancy's The Division 2 still worth playing in 2024? Let's get right into it. First off, let's talk about the player base. Despite being released back in 2019, The Division 2 has managed to maintain a dedicated community. Ubisoft has consistently rolled out updates, keeping the game fresh with new content, events, and improvements. But what does this mean for new and returning players? One of the biggest draws of The Division 2 is its immersive and detailed world. Set in a post-pandemic Washington, D.C., the game offers a rich and engaging environment that's still impressive even by today's standards. The graphics hold up well, and the attention to detail is remarkable. Whether you're exploring solo or with friends, the cityscape provides a compelling backdrop for your adventures. Now, let's talk gameplay. The Division 2's core mechanics remain solid. The cover-based shooting, strategic combat, and RPG elements continue to provide a satisfying experience. With various missions, side activities, and the Dark Zone, there's plenty to keep players engaged. The introduction of new seasons and events has also added layers of replayability and rewards that cater to both casual and hardcore players. But what about in-game content? This is where The Division 2 shines. Ubisoft has introduced several expansions and updates that expand the storyline and offer challenging content for veteran players. The Warlords of New York expansion, for example, brought significant changes and new areas to explore. Raids, global events, and the ongoing seasons ensure there's always something to strive for. Community feedback has been instrumental in shaping The Division 2. Ubisoft has shown a willingness to listen to player concerns and make adjustments accordingly. This responsiveness has helped in retaining a loyal player base and attracting new players who might have been on the fence. Of course, no game is without its downsides. Some players have pointed out that the game can feel repetitive over time, especially if you're grinding for gear or completing similar mission types. However, for many, the social aspect and cooperative gameplay outweigh these drawbacks. In conclusion, is The Division 2 still worth playing in 2024? Absolutely. Whether you're a new player looking for a deep and immersive shooter or a returning agent eager to see what's new, The Division 2 has plenty to offer. With its active community, regular updates, and rich content, it's a game that continues to hold its ground in the gaming world. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more gaming news and reviews, and let us know in the comments your thoughts on The Division 2. Are you still playing it? What keeps you coming back? We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.